hello welcome to my channel this is the second video that i'm posting the first was about a parrot that came and ate up all the mangoes in the next door house since this is about how i de reverse diabetes i have made notes and i'm reading from that so that i can be concise and brief so I'm posting, I have seen many videos on how people have reversed their diabetes or handled their diabetes and also many other videos on how uh, diabetes can be cured in a day with some medication, some home remedies. But I don't believe in that and I wanted to share my experience from the time I had diabetes that was uh, from the year 2000 onwards. So I had, re I had reversed my diabetes once so I know now that when you start getting diabetes when you are you are at the beginning of your illness when you are identified first with diabetes and you don't have any medication it is easy to reverse it but once you start medication it is uh, difficult and it has to be monitored constantly so that uh, you don't go into a hypoglycemic event so let me tell you how i reversed my diabetes in 2000 I, it was not through any effort at reversing diabetes it was accidental it was in the summer of year 2000 that I was diagnosed with diabetes type 2. It was also found that I had high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So I had the classic symptoms of metabolic syndrome. About 10 years or so before, I was told by a doctor that I had the likelihood of developing diabetes. But I ignored his advice to take care. And uh, uh, since it was conveyed to me second hand, no, the person who told me never told me what are the things that I should do. Uh, I was only told to avoid sugar, to stop eating uh, sweet things, stop adding sugar to your coffee. But I kept on uh, living in the same manner. Since diabetes is uh, what gives maximum or nearly the maximum income for pharmaceuticals, hospitals, doctors, sellers of medical equipment, there is a lot of research on diabetes. And recently, there was news that type 2 diabetes may be five different types, not just type 2. But all agree one thing, on one thing, that a type 2 diabetes is caused by environmental factors. Environmental factors does not mean uh, the environment around you. It means environment as well as your lifestyle, your mental, physical and spiritual health. At the time I was identified with diabetes, I was under a lot of stress. I was not particularly religious and I was not particularly aware of uh, what I was eating. It was mainly boiled rice that we eat in South India and uh, lots of bakery items made of white flour and chapatis. I had lots of worries and I kept praying every day about these worries. And I hope that they will be reversed by God miraculously. Diabetes was not at all one of the worries. It, and when I found that I could not handle my worries at all, I decided, because of some inner prompting, I decided to go to church. And I did not know anything about my church, because the church I belong to now, because I had married into the church and I never bothered to learn about it. So it was just before the Great Lent, the Saturday before Lent that I went to church. Excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, the priest there, I went for confession. I did not know how to do a confession. So I went and told I have never done anything before. So the priest told me, you observe the Great Lent. And as uh, penance for not uh, doing anything till then, I was asked to do the fast rigorously. So what was this great lint? The priest told me that all animal foods were out. I had thought out that only fish and meat were to, avoid, to be avoided. But not only fish and meat, curds, my favorite thing, butter, ghee, eggs were all out of bounds. Secondly, I had to fast. That is, I had to skip breakfast. I could drink water, but nothing else after that. After dinner at around 8 p.m., till next day's lunch. I had to do all the prayers. So that 6 p.m., 6 a.m. 
and dwell no. So <clears throat> all the prayers had lots of prostrations. I had to kneel down, touch my forehead to the ground, rise up and repeat that. And uh, at least three at each uh, session, each uh, time I kneel, three at least. Then uh, after some more prayer, again, again another three or four. Then and some more prayers and again another three or four. I think at least 15 or 20 at each session was there. Then I followed all that. I prayed hard and I started a journal because that confession had given me the desire to put everything down, put everything in the open. So I started a journal and daily I would write whatever had happened and all those uh, things that troubled me as letters to God. This way the Lent was over. I went to church every day uh, for the evening prayers. The other prayers I conducted at home. And after finishing all that and after Easter, I went back to the doctor for medicine and he said, I neither had diabetes nor blood pressure. And so I did not have to do uh, go on medication. I follow uh, at that time in the 2000 year when I was not the computer and internet were not so prevalent. I thought perhaps God had touched me and he had cured me. I had prayed for somebody else. The thing that worried me that was somebody else and I had prayed for that person. His situation did not change much but my diabetes and blood pressure were gone and I knew how to handle stress and I knew how to, I had uh, developed a new perception so that the other person's problems did not worry me so much. So at that time I thought God had cured me. But current research has identified certain ways of reversing diabetes. The first is diet. There are many things on the internet about vegan diets and reversing diabetes. Um, there is a starch based vegan low fat diet. There is a vegan uh, all raw diet, raw food diet of vegetables and fruits. There is a vegan diet of cooked food, but they all stress less fat and lots of vegetables and also perfect veganism. They say that inflammation is reduced by a vegan diet and <clears throat> cholesterol fat is what blocks uh, insulin from acting. It is what is causing the insulin resistance. Second thing that these uh, people have found, the research is uh, promoting is strenuous exercise. So I was doing the prostrations uh, and till I was breaking into sweat doing them. So that was a second thing that I did and better handling of stress. All these three things were there in the, uh, in the observation of Lent. And so my diabetes was reverse early and I was also on a sabbatical, no longer attending our office and uh, the lots of problems that I had had resolved. Earlier I had, I was working from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. doing my duties, completing the things for the next day also. But now I, can, I had enough time to do what I wanted, to get in touch with myself and listen to music, see cartoons or something relax so that all helped in reversing my diabetes and another thing is that I have recently read a book called the biology of belief by a cell biologist called Bruce Lipton he says that our beliefs influence our perceptions that's true and our perceptions influence the events and our feelings to them and feelings influence hormones like cortisol, adrenaline and other things and that influences the cell walls to react in certain ways. So every cell is influenced by our emotions and emotions are influenced by our perceptions and our belief. So perhaps I was cured by my childlike belief that in a miracle but the miracle was not what I expected. This way I reversed my diabetes and my blood pressure. Till date, I from 2000, it is 18 years, I have not had a blood pressure, elevated blood pressure till now. But my diabetes came back after five years uh, when I went back to a more busy lifestyle. I back to work 
living in a flat in Bangalore, in the busy city of Bangalore, getting caught in traffic, etc. So I became diabetic again. And this time I did not have the time to do all the Lent and things like that. And I straight on went and took the medicines. And this year I have observed the Lent because I'm retired and I can do all this again. And my medications have been halved. But it is not easy to come off uh, because my diabetes is, my body is used to my diabetes and I have not done the intermittent fasting because I'm in, on medications. <clears throat> Another thing is, every religion has the same path. For example, Hindus have a 40 days fast in connection with going to the Shabari Mala. So 40 days they are vegan. Um, and when they walk all the way up the hill to, of Sabarimala, trekking uphill, and they also carry a bundle, two bundles of their past actions, the good and the bad, and they uh, offer it to the go God so that <clears throat> nothing of the past burdens them again. And po probably, and 99% probability is that many people who have not been identified as diabetic or having BP, but still had it, were well cured by the Shabrimala visit. So how I am handling my diabetes now, how I have managed to reduce the medication uh, without this Lent and even before Lent, how you can live uh, comfortably without going on extreme diets uh, is what I would like to communicate. I will, care, I will say that in the next videos. I, but I want to stress that I am in no way connected to medical profession. I don't have any medical authority. What I'm saying, what I'm ex ex sharing is just my experience. And I was just hoping that people who have been recently identified with diabetes would think of doing these things, changing the diet. See, one of the things is when I go vegan, when I went vegan was that it restricted my calorie intake. I was not eating as many calories because on veganism, if you want to eat a lot of uh, calories, you have to eat huge quantities, which is not possible for me. So your calories are restricted. There is a, There are researchers that when calories are restricted, fat is burnt and insulin resistance is reversed. So veganism or calorie restriction, vigorous exercise, and spiritual practices so that your stress or you can go for some uh, kind of um, courses that teach you how to handle stress and these things can help you reverse diabetes in the initial stages in the later stages you cannot do this because you're on medication medicine has to be titrated and you have to do anything you have to do you have to do after consulting your medical practitioner so goodbye till the next video.